Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jared with Jared Jogs, and I am excited to do a full review of these. The Limbs Primal Pursuit. So a disclaimer before we get started. No one purchased these shoes for me. No affiliate links. Bought them with my own hard-earned money because I was excited by what Limbs was claiming this shoe could do, and I wanted to buy them and try them out. No one has viewed this footage before you, and I am excited for you to hear all about this shoe. So if you watched my unboxing, I let everybody know that I would be going to Florida, and this right here would be the only shoe that I was going to take with me. And I was gonna do some trail runs, business meetings, dinners, all that good stuff, and that was gonna be it. So I'm back, and uh, luckily weather was good there and here, uh, there in Florida and here in Indiana, and so I have a lot to review with this shoe, so let's get started. First off, everyday wear with the shoe. Super, super comfortable. So this shoe is uh, a little bit thicker than the Primal 2. Again, not super flexible, but flexible enough, right? I mean, it, it gives that, that flex. Gives you, it's got that super wide toe box there for your feet display. And look at those grips at the bottom. Very sticky. Uh, sole so just super comfortable just wearing around every day uh, with the primal 2 you can really feel the ground the ground feel is is really reactive with those it is very minimal with these not so much um, so it's great walking around I didn't have a car when I was in Florida everything was on foot and it was just very very comfortable every day wearing them wherever I went I did get to do some road running there was a trail about a mile a little over a mile away from my hotel so I would run to the trail uh, from the hotel which was all sidewalks uh, in just urban suburban area and then I got to the trails and got to do several miles on the trails there it was a little bit more hard packed because it was Florida it was packed sand with some roots there was some mud and and one area that, that had a small creek that was running through it. And so I got some good miles in on the trails and I have to say, very, very comfortable on the trail. Uh, not, you can still, feel it's responsive, you can still feel the trail, but not enough that you think that uh, you have nothing underfoot. So through the rocks and everything else, just a really good feel, really good traction. I had no issues at all with traction. Uh, with the shoe and and to be honest on the runs uh, felt really really good so I did a five mile run did a six mile run uh, both in in Florida and felt great all along I was able to go into the gym and do some weight lifting there on one of the days wore these shoes as well had no issues at all very comfortable with the weight lifting giving me support doing squats uh, and all the other exercise that that I did there inside the gym so when I got home, uh, I returned to snow. So that was pretty exciting because I got to run uh, in snow with these shoes. And I have to say that they performed very well in the snow. So I was going uphill and downhill. Uh, didn't have any slippage under the foot at all. They gripped really, really well. Very surprised and they were warm. So I, uh, I enjoyed that as well because it was a little chilly on the way back. So. Uh, how did they perform, right? So, I mean, there were days that I was in khakis and there were days that I was in blue jeans and some, like, sweatpants that, that I wore at the airport. And this was it. This was the only thing that I wore and they fit in with every outfit that I had. It was, I can honestly say, this is one of the most versatile shoes that I have because I can go out and do a trail run and then immediately come back, shower, change my clothes, and wear the same shoe out to wherever I'm going to eat at. And I ate at some nicer restaurants, and it just fit in perfect. So one of the things I want to talk about is the, the material here uh, around the toe box. Just took a, a wet rag to that after my runs and just wiped down super easy to clean. The, the lugs clean themselves, that doesn't hold any dirt or anything like that. And again, I did run through some mud. One thing that I like is the reflection. You can see the reflective on that side 
and on this side it doesn't stick out but you know when I was out walking around at night and it was dark I, I was glad that I had that on because you know you just never know anymore uh, when you're in those cross walks and people are driving it helps to be seen at night so really really like that let's talk a little bit about the weight so um, I usually run in a Saucony Kinvara. Uh, I have the 11 and the 12. I wear 11 and a half, and those are about 17.8 ounces. I also have some Ultra Bostons, which are zero drop. They're the Boston 20s. Uh, I wear a size 11 in that, and those are 16.2 ounces. The Primal 2, which I've reviewed, if you want to go back to some of my other videos, you know, that's a super minimal shoe. I wear a size 10 in that. It's 15.8 ounces. Primal Pursuit is a little heavier. I wear a size 11, and I want to say, so I measured my foot. My foot is 27 uh, centimeters, and they, uh, 27 was supposed to fit right in the 11. They say to size up, and I, I probably could. I'm right in between, so one of my toes uh, rub just a little bit. I got a little bit of a blister, but that happens quite often with me. Um, I probably could stay where I'm at or size up one. So if you're in between, I would suggest uh, following their directions and going up uh, a half a size. So anyway, back to the weight. The weight on this is 23.6 ounces. And you can feel that, right? So it's not a super light shoe. It is a little bit heavier. It's not the heaviest out there. Um, I'm not gonna go wear this on, on a super long 13 mile run uh, if I don't have to. I'm gonna grab one of my lighter shoes. But man, to just pack one pair of shoes for an entire trip and be able to do anything and everything you wanna do. The only thing I didn't do was go to the beach because it was 10 miles away and I didn't wanna pay the price to get there and back with an Uber just to walk in the sand for you all. But uh, on the trails there was sand and they did great there. So in closing, let's talk about real quick, how do I uh, plan on using these in my, in my everyday routine? So this is not gonna be a shoe that I throw on and go and throw into my training routine every day. I'm gonna stick with my Canvaras and my Ultras uh, and those are going to be my everyday training shoes, but I don't wear those shoes out in public either. So this shoe is going to be one that uh, goes with my shoe collection on, on shoes that I wear, uh, not every day, right, but in, in that mix of stuff that I'm wearing with jeans, khakis, whatever it is, shorts, uh, and out on the town. If I go on vacation and I plan to do some running, pack in this shoe because uh, I can use this shoe as well as an everyday shoe when I'm on vacation. Now, I also did a half marathon not too long ago. It was in December, right before Christmas, and it poured down rain before that. Uh, and the issue was, is that was a road race or a trail. Uh, it was a sidewalk race, if you will, right? Uh, through the city of Indianapolis that turned into a trail race. It was muddy and gunky and nasty, and uh, it was truly kind of treacherous at times wearing just a regular running shoe. So had I had these back in December, knowing I knew it had rained, I knew it was kind of going to be gross out there, and so I grabbed my Ultras between because between my Ultra Boston 20s and my Canvaras, the Ultras had a little bit more grip. Um, these would be these would have been perfect. These would have been absolutely perfect for that race. Um, Limbs has all kinds of different shoes. I, I highly suggest that you check out their website. If you're looking for a versatile shoe, this is a zero drop. Um, so if you've never run in a zero drop shoe before, I suggest that you work your way into that because it does take a little bit of training. $130 for this shoe. They have it in black and the blue. Like I said before, the blue is a really sexy color. I like it. It matches a lot of different things. Um, but I, I'm excited about it, and I'm excited to, uh, like I said, start wearing this thing more often, and hopefully I can come back in a year and tell you how it's held up. So far, so good. Everything is holding up really good. No, no stitching is coming out. Uh, no big scuff marks or anything. Very rugged shoe uh, for what it is. So, limbs, thanks so much. You didn't lie on your website. It is versatile. You can wear it out. 
you can wear it on the trail, whatever you want to do, this shoe is for you. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.